Hey dudes, it's P-Dubs. Thanks as always for checking out the channel and hanging out upstairs with us. So today, Arcade 1UP unveiled, or officially announced, that the Arcade 1UP Terminator 2 Arcade Cabinet is coming soon. Pre-orders go live November 1st. The information came out on the Arcade 1UP website. Link and information will be included below. Taking a look here, one major difference about this cabinet versus what the original cabinet did is... This is running off of what it does appear to be Sidin or Sindin, however you want to say it, light gun technology. This does vary from the original arcade. The original arcade did include fixed guns mounted to the control deck. These guns each had potentiometers built in for your X and Y axis. And with those potentiometers, it created a cursor on the screen. So as you moved up, down, left, right, to shoot the villains on the screen, the bad guys, if you will, it would track the movements, place the cursor. It wasn't really a light gun game. There's a really great video out there from Scarlet Sprites on YouTube. I love that guy's channel. I'll have a link to his video in the description below if you want to know the full story of Arcade 1UP Terminator 2 and how the technology worked on the original arcade game. Highly suggest you check out that video. He did a fantastic job. Make sure you give him a thumbs up, subscribe to his channel, and all that stuff. Link is in the video description below. But taking a look at what Arcade 1UP is going to offer us, the rumors are this cabinet is going to be $699. That is how much the United States retail is going to be. And for $699, you will get one game, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, and then some behind-the-scenes footage on the Arcade 1UP listing. What does that mean exactly? Does that mean that this particular cabinet will have like some videos you can watch, some bonus scenes, the making of the arcade game, or maybe the making of the movie? doesn't sound like it adds a whole ton of value to me. just sounds like a little bit of fluff thrown in there. The game itself, though, is iconic. It's one of my favorite shooting games of all time, and it definitely has a huge degree of difficulty as you get to the final boss. This cabinet will also include Wi-Fi leaderboards, two guns with force feedback, light-up marquee, and a riser. Having the guns with force feedback is huge. And of course, light-up light up marquees and the risers are all standard. It does appear that this cabinet will be taller than the traditional Arcade 1UP, mimicking the Arcade 1UP Big Blue Street Fighter cabinet, where they will have those extension panels to lift the cabinet even higher. I did confirm with John D at Arcade 1UP earlier today that this particular cabinet does indeed include the Sidin or Sindin, however you want to say it, light gun technology. You'll notice on their trailer video, on their hype video, there's a couple of shots of the game on screen with that white border. And of course, the guns are detachable with the hoses running the electronics from the guns to the cabinet running the Sidin technology. So it doesn't appear that they're going to go the original route of potentiometers and things of that nature. It must have been better for them or more cost effective. Who knows the reason why to go with the side in technology. Plus, these cabinets are smaller. If these guns were attached permanently to the cabinet, like the original arcade, even with the cabinet being taller, as you see in the videos, the guns would have been mounted too close to the screen. It's a much smaller cabinet. Let's keep in mind, guys, these are three quarter scale arcades. These are not the original arcade machine size with plenty of room to surround that cabinet and join in on the fun. These are much smaller recreations. So having detachable guns, in my opinion, kind of makes sense, but it does take away from the original experience. When it comes to their side in technology, if you do own the Big Buck Hunter cabinet, you've seen it before from Arcade 1UP, and you can let me know in the comments below what you think of that technology and how it played on the Arcade 1UP cabinet. I did not purchase that cabinet, so I unfortunately can't speak to the quality of the work that Arcade 1UP has done in the past with the side in light gun technology. I do find this a very interesting change in pace from the original arcade. I can only assume that it must have been the most cost-effective way. You can only assume that while developing this cabinet, Arcade 1UP must have looked at doing potentiometers versus using sight and light gun technology and determined that, guess what, the sight and light gun technology is the cheapest, easiest, and maybe the best way to go to get this game running on the platform. I find that very interesting. Pre-orders for this cabinet do go live November 1st, guys. That's only about five days away. You guys got to let me know whether or not you're interested in this cabinet and what your thoughts are if you're going to be picking one up. 
I do like the cabinet, but again, like a lot of arcade one-ups recently, I'm not a big fan of the price, $699 for just one game and some bonus footage. But minus that, it's tempting. It's very tempting because it's Terminator 2. It's definitely a big conversation piece to have in your arcade and gaming room. In my opinion, this looks kind of cool. I mean, it looks kind of cool, but then again, is it $700 cool? Only you can answer that question in the comments below. If you enjoyed the news update, give me a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing.